and welcome back to Who Would Win. Um, so I, I, I feel sheepish. Um, I, uh, I thought I was recording a video the whole time, and then I realized I didn't press the record button. So I was literally just talking to. Um, wait, what? That, that that's that's odd. Um, I, I apparently do have a um, a video cur up at the moment that I was recording. Wait, what's going on here? Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Either way, uh, we'll deal with that when we do it. Oh, you silly, you silly. Uh, anyway, pumpkin's here. Pumpkin, you can't see pumpkin. Let's let's move that a little bit. There's pumpkin. Pumpkin is uh, pumpkin is my friend's cat. I'm house sitting for my friend, so uh, I'm taking care of her cat. And he's a good boy. He's an attention. He's an attention hogger. Yes, he is. Uh, but anyway, so Ben 10 versus Stack Shock. This comes to us from Sora the Spider, uh, or the Spider, or the Sora Spider. Sorry. Uh, asking the question, who would win a fight, Ben Tennyson or Stag Shock? Um, now, I will simplify what I said in the previous video that I was not recording when I was talking. Um, yeah, so Ben Tennyson got the Omnitrix around age 10. The Omnitrix is basically a universal walk a mile in someone else's shoes, except literally. Uh, having the DNA of over like a million aliens and continually scan more in there. Uh, ben literally has an alien for any occasion. Like, literally, there, any occasion. He's got time travel aliens. He's got, you know, atomics, which is basically a nuclear alien. He's got Alien X, which is pretty much a god. Uh, heat Blast, Fire, Rip Draw, Aquatic. Um, NRG, a radioactive one that is housed in a, um, like, a, an iron, like, suit. Uh, Spider Monkey, Wild Mutt, I'm, uh, Blocks. I'm just going, I'm just rallying. He's only got an alien for any occasion. It's his choice to choose between which alien he goes with, obviously. But in Dire Straits, the objects tend to choose the best alien for the job if need be. One of them um, was one of uh, Ultimate Event's favorite they constantly used, and then got it, then it got purged from the Omnitrix system, unfortunately. It was one that was like a electric energy based uh, alien. I can't believe it's like a overload or overload or something like that. Uh, but it, it was like he was like made of rubber, so he's like an insulator, so he could literally absorb energy all there. He literally absorbed the energy of another Big Bang, is what he did. That's how much energy he could absorb. He was it was kind of nuts. Uh, but Ben, it, but all these aliens are only as good as Ben himself, who has become a quite the uh, the hero and quite the savior of his world. Uh, ben though is still even at his oldest, it was still only a, like a, a teenager, not including like Ben ten thousand and all that. Uh, so he's he's still got uh, a lot of learning to do. He's still got ego and hormones and all that stuff to deal with. But still, he's very capable combatant. Uh, Static Chuck, my uh, Virgil Hawkins. Was exposed to uh, a gas in the form of a basically they kind of called it like another Big Bang a little bit. But exposed to a gas, they making him a Bang Baby, giving him the ability to control static electricity. He's actually not from the DC universe. He's from um, the Dakota verse. He's actually from a different reality. Uh, but either way, uh, he's uh, he's quite powerful actually. I believe is uh, static electricity can do much, including energy blasts, um, uh, electro uh, EMPs, er energy shields. He can actually reattach severed limbs. Uh, he can overload electrical circuits, obviously, similar to an EMP, but slightly different. Uh, magnetism, um, flight, he's that capable of quite a lot. There's more, but it really, uh, it's the, there, it won't, here's the problem. The winner of this fight is kind of obvious when you really break it down. Um, but it's still important to go over the combatants. But I, I'll admit, I, I didn't have all of Stag's stuff available. That said... Um, it doesn't really kind of matter in this fight when you break down. Yes, Static is a very powerful individual. Um, and would he be able to, like, say, overload the Omnitrix with energy? Probably not. The Omnitrix has fail-safe devices in it that keep certain things like that from happening. So the question then becomes, is Virgil just strong enough to beat any of Ben's aliens? Any of them? So are some of them, like of the millions of, of the over million aliens he over one million aliens he has, yeah, you can actually beat quite a few of them. I think you could beat Ripjaw. I'm like going just by the original ten. I almost feel confident he could beat Ripjaws. Uh, he could probably beat Gray Matter, even though Gray Matter could outthink him. He just doesn't have. Any, he probably wouldn't have anything on call to do anything with that. With he could probably beat Ghost Freak. I'd say he could beat Stinkfly. Uh, in terms of sheer strength, he couldn't beat um, Forearms, but he could just keep his distance and he's good. Uh, forearms, he could probably beat. He could probably beat Wild Mutt. Um, 
Uh, I'm trying to go over all of Ben's aliens off the top of my head. Uh, upgrade upgrade might be an odd one, although I think he could probably beat up. In fact, yeah, among most of Ben's original aliens, he could actually beat most of them. The problem becomes is that once you get later into the series, his aliens just kept getting stronger and stronger. He literally has an alien designed to absorb energy and redirect it. He could literally, he it, it literally absorbed all of Ben's all of the energy of a Big Bang-esque, uh, like, explosion. And Virgil does not have that level of power. Virgil does not have the power of the Big Bang. <laughs> so, literally, just that one alien alone could completely beat Virgil. So, yeah, Ben clearly kind of wins this fight. It would be a fun fight to watch if they ever did a death battle of it, but Ben clearly beats this uh, beats Virgil in the fight. It's kind of not fair on Vir uh, to Virgil to really stack them against each other. But yeah, and again, that's just the one fighter, uh, the one alien. Factor in, like, say, like, Atomics was basically a nuclear powerhouse. Factor in, like, uh, gravi uh, gravi Gravitix, who can manipulate gravity, which Virgil can't really do anything against. Factor in Clockwork, who can literally manipulate time. Factor in Alien X, who's a god, who can pretty much do anything all the rest of these guys can do, put together. Um, yeah, it's kind of clear that Ben would beat Static Shock in a fight. Still, again, it'd be, I'd love to see Static in a fight. I mean, the, I like the Miles versus Static fight. I think that was a really good fight. I, I, I was on the side of Miles, unfortunately, but so, you know, I lost that fight, but whatever. Um, still, Static, I've always liked Static. I love the show. I love the, I love, uh, any Saturday morning, uh, as a kid, I'm tuning into that show. So I'm like, yeah, Static Shock, Jack, Shock, awesome. So yeah, I mean, representation wouldn't matter, wouldn't matter. Man. We need, you know what? I mean, not to get political or anything, we don't talk about representation and mattering and bring, bring Static Shock back. They ended it on a note where they, they ended up the series on, on a note where they were not going anywhere. Where it's like, oh, now I'm a genius. They're going to have to bring out the cure again. Yeah, but now I'm a genius. I think I'll make a little cure to the cure. It's like, so they ain't getting rid of the study. He's like, yeah, make a sequel to Static Shock. This is the perfect time for that. Are you kidding me? I would be totally down for that. I would watch that in a heartbeat. Uh, I loved Static Shock. <laughs> so I loved the fact they were in the DC Universe. He did crossovers with Batman and the Justice League. It was awesome. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks next, well, later, because I got to do a death battle prediction whenever that happens. Uh, I will probably do a compiled uh, magic video of all the Zendikar Rising stuff later today as well, just because I haven't gotten around to doing I didn't get around to doing it over the weekend. So yeah, I'll get to that at some point. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later!